So first things first, an instruction sheet. So here's the deal, solo overnight survival in the woods would only the contents of this bag, the goodie bag. We need to source the three most important aspects of survival, fire, water, and shelter, and we need to source those three ideally before nightfall, which is fast approaching. So with time of the essence, let's check out the contents of this bag. One lightweight jumper. One bandana. One head torch. Two snacks. And the Polymath Products Mini Survival Tin. So for those of you who didn't see the overview video of this survival tin, we'll have a quick recap of the contents. A resealable bag. Kit contents. Advice on how to use the kit. One meter of paracord, candle, compressed towel, torch, compass, water carrier, mini fishing kit, fire starter and whistle unit, sewing kit, some first aid, a mirror, and the tin itself. So first I want to get a shelter built and with a lack of any sort of cutting tool in a survival kit, no saw, no blade, we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. And it's not going to be pretty. So our shelter construction is almost complete. Um, the leaf litter should help hold in the heat from the fire that we're gonna have out the front here. I say almost complete because I do wanna bulk it up with some more leaves. I would have burnt a lot less calories and it would have been done a lot sooner if our Polymath Products Mini Survival Tin contains some kind of space blanket, but uh, we're getting there. This is our water carrier. Granted, it's not a very durable water carrier, but it's the best we have right now. We fill this up with water, drop a water purification tablet in, wait 30 minutes, and we're good to drink. And of course, this is where our bandana comes in. It may prove to be a little challenging, but I'm gonna try and fold the bandana over, put it at the entrance of our water carrier, and hopefully filter out much of the larger nasties in the water. But just one of the many advantages of having a bandana. This particular bandana is made from UST, and it has a whole bunch of survival information printed onto it.
So what we don't want to do is fall in. With the temperature dropping at night, the last thing I want to do is get wet and cold. That would be bad. The easiest way for me to get down to the stream here is to jump over the stream onto the opposite side, step down onto the little bank there and access the stream that way. However, the mud on the bank there is very soft and is liable to sink. Uh, so I may want to find a stick so I can distribute my weight and uh, prevent us sinking too far in and getting our feet wet. So success, kinda. We have water, not much water, but we still have water. Now one purification tablet can filter one liter of water. This is definitely not one liter of water. So we are absolutely on the safe side. I thought this may be able to stretch a bit more, but it just wouldn't give. So at least we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of water. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the capacity of our water carrier. Maybe I should have blown in it first to expand it, I don't know. But, uh, but let's hope this bubble doesn't burst. Because if it does, our only other option would be to use the survival tin itself and then boil the water. And if that was the case, we'd have even less water capacity than we do here. Plus with boiling the water, we need a fire, which uh, we haven't even got started yet. So getting a fire started is our next priority as we wait for the water purification tablets to work their magic. So with today's temperature being highs of 12 degrees Celsius, lows of 5 degrees Celsius, and with only one other lightweight hoodie, fire is the number one priority, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Famous last words. We have multiple forms of creating fire in the Polymath Products mini survival tin. The catalyst being our fire striker combined with a whistle. So we have our alcohol swab, which should ignite on the sparks impact. We have our compressed towel that we can fluff up and that should uh, ignite nicely. And if the sun was shining, we could utilize the sun's rays and use the mirror to fire a highly concentrated beam of light onto some tinder. Or we could just collect some ultra dry tinder from the environment around us. But seeing as it's getting pretty fresh out here right now and being that I want to conserve calories and I don't want to be battling to get a fire started, we're going to go going with the alcohol swab just to make it easy, just because we can. But we don't want to be scrambling for firewood once we get the fire started. So I want to collect all the firewood necessary to create a sustainable fire before we even think about getting this fire started. We snap the wood, provides me with that good snap signaling to me that it's nice and dry and will burn well. So not too far from our shelter is this fallen tree and this is going to be our fueling station tonight. I can just keep coming back, getting more wood, throw it on the fire.
Oh, I just went for a wee. My urine is proper green, dark green. So we're gonna have a few sips of our water here and we're gonna have to fill it up. I'm gonna give it a shake. We'll have to fill it up before we go to bed later. Tastes fine. I think it tastes fine. We'll save this for after the flapjack. Should have collected more twigs. I was being lazy. Well, that was nice while it lasted. Should have collected more twigs. I was being lazy. So now we go and collect some twigs. Then we used a compressed towel to start our fire. We'll grab some of those more, uh, the, the, dry, the dead dry uh, plant. Plant. <sighs> Frustrating. Not at the, I'm frustrated at myself. Boom. Take the twigs. Take the twigs. We are not out of the woods yet. <laughs> now I think we're out of the woods. 
So we lay down our platform of sticks to prevent any moisture from the ground being sucked up into the fire. And uh, obviously with the alcohol swab, we failed. It was my fault, I was being lazy. But with the compressed towel, we got them the second time around. Success, now we can sit back, relax and, and eat a flapjack. So this little LED torch, it's not half bad to be honest. You can either hold it down or click it in place. Our only other option for light and a slither of warmth is this little candle. If it did happen to get Icelandic and we didn't have this fire, I could always get up and do some push-ups to get the blood flowing and warm up a little bit. But... So I mentioned these flapjacks in a video back and I've brought along an energy bar to show you a comparison, the difference price-wise and calorie-wise. So this flapjack contains 427 calories per 100 grams. So actually it's more than 427 calories because this is 120 grams. This flapjack costs just 29 pence. This energy bar on the other hand contains a total of 155 calories and costs two pounds. Don't be fooled. But still, I've got it, so one's dinner, one's breakfast. These autumn and winter nights, they're always the hardest and it's not because of the cold or the, the rains or the frost in the morning, it's, it's how long these nights are. It seems to be dark forever. little leaf litter lean to held the heat in nicely that wasn't till some point this morning uh, when I woke up fire was out almost uh, I was unprepared for it I didn't have any twigs or anything like that so what I had to do is grab a candle blow into the fire create a flame take that flame put it on the candle buried a little hole for the candle here and just so the candle could stand up by itself while I went and got some twigs. And I managed to restart the fire by the skin of my teeth.
maybe just hot water, but warms you up a bit. Now I believe you learn something new each time you go out into the woods and on this occasion the biggest takeaway for me is don't be lazy. Being lazy cost us a fire almost twice. The first time with the alcohol swap, the second time in the middle of the night where I didn't uh, prepare for that event. And so I was wandering around by the beam of my headlight, rushing to uh, collect some twigs and and whatnot. So that's the biggest takeaway for me because I was tired, I was hungry, and I was thirsty. I got lazy and it almost cost us twice. So don't be lazy. Now, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already yet, but you really want to, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching. As always, it's been emotional. I will see you on the next one.